Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. So Windows, an operating system that we all use at some point for our lives. Me personally, the first operating system that I ever, ever used in my life was Windows XP. So yeah, it was a really great experience back then, like 13 years ago. I really enjoyed my time with Windows XP, then moved on to Windows 7 and then to Windows 7. And at some point to Windows 11, which I really didn't like. Yes, I skipped the Windows Vista and Windows 8 and 8.1. Some people did like them actually, but for me, I was just like, nah. For example, Windows 8 or 8.1, both of those were meant to be on tablets. And for me to say use a laptop or a desktop, I wasn't really interested back then. But that's not today's subject. Today we'll be talking about Windows 10 and 11. And why you should stick to Windows 10 instead of just upgrading to the ugly, bad Windows 11. Usually I don't cover Windows that much. Uh, I talk about Linux, try Linux distributions, I mess around with this a lot. But in the same time, my channel is not only attracting Linux users, but also Windows users and even Mac users. So why not try to cover other operating systems instead of just talking about Linux? Because I care about that small percentage of you guys that use Windows and that love using Windows and doesn't want to switch to Linux by any means. Of course, we know that Linux is not always beginner friendly for everyone and we cannot just their Linux distribution, for example, like Arch or Ubuntu or whatever, and somebody that's been using Windows for his entire life. Now, let's talk about the real deal, which is Windows 10. And you might be like, oh, it's weird to use Windows 10 in 2025. Windows 11 is a thing, and you can use it. It's not that bad anymore. They fixed a couple stuff here and there. But of course, we know that Windows 11 is not good, as you might expect, especially for people that has low-end machines, just like myself. Me, personally, I don't own a high-end machine with an RTX 5090 and 64 gigabytes of RAM. That's far away from the reality. I use a Core i5. That's just a virtual machine, by the way, uh, because I want to show you what you will get for installing Windows 10 IoT LTSC uh, because my desktop doesn't look default anymore. I changed a lot of stuff. It's full of applications and all this. That's why I decided to just install Windows 10 again on a virtual machine. Leave that way. Now, let me show you what I have. Performance. I use a Core i5 6500 clocked at 3.2 gigahertz with only 16 gigabytes of RAM and no graphic card whatsoever. If you're like me, you know this Windows 11 is not for you, uh, especially if you have a low-end machine. I care about how my old stupid machine will perform. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's day-to-day uh, -day tasks like surfing the net or playing some light games or whatever you're going to use your machine for. You should care about the performance of your machine. Even though Microsoft did announced a way so you can get over uh, that CPM 2.0 check and everything uh, without using Rufus or whatever. I did that myself at desk work, uh, but still that strategy from Microsoft didn't really work and people did stick to Windows 10, but because the end of support of Windows 10 professional or home, all those regular versions uh, is probably going to be soon. So there is no point of using an operating system that won't receive any security updates. And that's of course important for your safety. So as I said, me personally, I use Windows 10 LTSC. Back in the early days of Windows 11, I did install it on a machine that is way slower than this one I have, like an HP Pavilion or something. Like this was really, really slow, horrible experience, and I couldn't do anything, even surf in the net. And I had multiple options, one of them basically buying a new laptop. I'm broke, how can I buy a new laptop? So then I switched to Linux, from Linux I switched back to Windows, then I dual boot Windows and Linux, then it was just a big mess. Currently, I'm dual booting Windows and Linux, Arch Linux, by the way. But for you as a Windows user that doesn't want to switch to Linux to get a little bit more performance, or for example, if you play those games like Valorant or Apex, and it's necessary to just have Windows, and if you're not going to have Windows, this means you're not going to play any games like that. Mainly because the anti sheets program running in the background are not compatible with Linux. For some reasons, Valorant or Apex or all those games doesn't want to support Linux, which is bad for a lot of people. So what will you do in this situation? My own 
only advice to you is basically to switch back to Windows 10. I'm not going to tell you install Windows 10 Pro or Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 wherever. You have one option, Windows 10 IoT LTSC. And let me just show you. So the version I'm using is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. You can just use Windows 10 LTSC, but that one has only a year and a half of support, which is not enough. If you want to extend it a bit more, you can go with Windows 10. And IoT Enterprise LTSC. It's available. Uh, you can acquire the ISO for that thing anywhere. It's not really a big deal. The installation is really simple, the same as any normal Windows 10 installation. And you will end up with something like this, or the one I'm using, because this one over here and this one I'm using are the same version, by the way. If I just do when I stop it, hey, I'm not searching for anything. Whenver. There you go, just like that. The good thing about Windows 10 LTSC or IoT LTSC is that they're made for businesses. So mostly they're debloated by default. You don't have to do anything else than starting to use it. And here you can see that only have Microsoft Edge. I wish they just didn't include Microsoft Edge. For some reasons, they have it stuck there and you cannot delete it. If you delete it, you might break your Windows 10 installation. I don't really know. And rather than that, there is nothing else. All the bloatware is gone. There is only your like tools. Um, yeah, your regular stuff that you will need to operate Windows 10. And simple as that. If you want to like take the performance to another level, there's other external tools like that one you can install uh, through the PowerShell. I don't really remember the name of it, but it's really famous. Made by that one guy that I forgot his name. But thanks to him, you can deploy it's Windows 10 even more. And that's good. That's really good. Some people in the comments will be like, oh, there is a version of Windows 11 called Windows 10 LTSC. And it's uh, way smoother than the regular Windows 11. But listen, Microsoft has a strategy of just putting more Bloodsware and Bloodsware into your machine with every Windows release they make. Because Windows 10, when released, it wasn't really as bloated as Windows 11. Now, in Windows 11, even the sort menu can consume your CPU and RAM usage, which is really horrible in case you wanted to use your machine for gaming. Having the taskbar or the sort menu running as a separate program, for example, in the background, will for sure consume your battery if you have a laptop, your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, all that type of resources is going to be consumed. And not only the taskbar or the source menu that will consume your CPU or whatever, but even the telemetry spyware they have included to both Windows 10 and 11 that they say it's made to improve your experience with Windows, which is not the reality. And keep that in mind, that's not real. They just want to track everything you do, all the websites you visit, and even every key you click on your keyboard. Even that is saved to Windows telemetry to the point where that Windows telemetry will be basically taken up to 40, 60, 70, 80, 90% of your CPU just to perform well and take as much data as it can. So the only way to decrease the amount of data collection and all that bullshit that's Microsoft included to its Windows 10 and 11 operating systems is by installing Windows 10 IoT LTSC. And that's not only recommended by me, but by everyone that uses Windows 10 for long term and that doesn't want to switch to Linux. I don't recommend using Linux if you don't have that much time to invest into that thing to learn it and to know everything about it. So stick to Windows 10 to that version specifically and I promise you will get the best performance out of your machine. Doesn't matter if it's high end or low end machine, you're just gonna have a really good experience. I will try to make a separate video in the future about how to turn on of most privacy options that let Microsoft collect your data and everything and how to optimize your system to reach its potential. But for now, I decided to just make that video specifically about why you should stick to Windows 10 instead of upgrading to Windows 11. It doesn't make any sense. Windows 10 is way smoother, way better, uh, less data collection and less everything. So why not give it a try? This was really it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy that video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and of course let me know in the comments what windows version you prefer is it windows 10 windows 11 windows 12 even that doesn't exist yeah let me know in the comments and see you in the next one Bye bye